Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing well. Today I'm going to teach redox reactions. I've already started redox reaction. Now that's my the second video on the redox reaction. Let's see. Uh, first, basically, I want to do some revision here, uh, like what is meant by the term reduction and oxidation. And today we are discussing the rules to find out the oxidation state of any element in the given compound. Look at that. We know that suppose we have ionic compound, like ionic compound like NaCl, ionic compound. We have ionic compounds, ionic ionic compounds and covalent compound let's see we have ionic compounds ionic compounds and covalent compounds covalent compounds we know that ionic compound is formed between metal and non-metal whereas covalent compounds are formed between two non-metals so metal normally give away the electron metal lose electron and become Na plus plus one electron so the loss of electron is the oxidation is the oxidation loss of electron is oxidation okay and chlorine gain one electron cl plus one electron become cl minus gain of electron gain of electron is reduction we know now what is oxidation and what is reduction like oil rig guys but see in case of covalent compound how i know which one get oxidized and which one get reduced like hydrogen chloride HCl to figure out which one get oxidized and which one get reduced we have to use the electronegativity term we know that the chlorine has the highest electronegativity compared to hydrogen so it has partial negative charge and this has partial positive charge meaning this pair of electron shifted towards the chlorine meaning hydrogen get oxidized and chlorine get reduced chlorine get reduced so if we have a we have a covalent compound the one which is less electronegative get the one which is less electronegative gets get oxidized and the one which is highly electronegative gets reduced okay now what is meant by the term oxidation state any guesses okay look at that oxidation state or oxidation number both are fine look at that oxidation state or oxidation number oxidation state or oxidation number number okay See, whenever there is a formation of the bond, some element gain the electron or some element lose the electron. When, I, when any element gain or lose electron, it got a formal charge. The formal charge present on any element is the oxidation state of that element. So that's the formal charge. The formal charge 
charge present on any ion after gaining or losing electrons now so we know now what is meant by the term oxidation state so we have some rules to figure out the oxidation state of any element in the given compound let's go through one by one okay the group one metal give away one electron group one metals like for example we have lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium francium how many electron they lose one electron so they have plus one charge that's the oxidation state of a group one metals the os the oxidation state of group one metals has group one metals have plus one oxidation state the os of group two group two the oxidation state the os of group two alkaline earth metal first one is alkaline metals second one is alkaline earth metal group two group second metals have plus two because they give away two electron so group two he group two beryllium magnesium calcium strontium barium now group three oxidation state of the group three the oxidation state of group three metals as they give away three electrons have plus three the oxidation state of a group one metals have plus one the oxidation state of group two metals have plus two plus three now group four mostly they are forming a covalent compound so rather they, they are sharing so I'm, I'm trying to ignore here now group five group five group three like a boron group group three boron aluminium gallium indium thallium group five the oxidation state of group five element group five elements they are not metals they are elements element have minus three because they gain three electron I'm, I'm talking about in general guys nitrogen in various compounds show variable oxidation state we will discuss later on but in general group five elements they have what are the group five elements like nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony bismuth they have five valence electron so they gain three electron when they form ionic bond i'm talking in general guys but when you look at the nitrogen and its compound nitrogens nitrogen and phosphorus they are showing variable oxidation state especially the p block elements are showing variable oxidation state okay i'm talking about the uh, metallic oh sorry, sorry i'm talking about the ionic bonding the os of the oxidation state of group five group six elements have have minus two oxidation state oxygen mostly the oxygen showing a minus two oxidation state except in of2 i will tell you the reason behind it and 
hydrogen peroxide and its peroxide the oxidation state of the oxidation state of group 7 group 7 elements have minus 1 like fluorine chlorine bromine fluorine chlorine bromine iodine astatine they gain one electron okay please quickly copy on that one can i rub this board guys okay now I have some more rules to work out the oxidation state of any element in its given compound. The oxidation state of any pure element is zero because it is in its pure form. The oxidation state of any pure elements element or any pure element is zero guys because it is not making any bond that's in its pure form and its uh, uh, original state the oxidation state of a compound as a whole as a whole compound as a whole is also zero we didn't get it sir okay like so for example i have hno3 like the whole compound is zero i'm not talking about the individual compound i'm not talking about the individual element the whole of the compound is zero there's no formal charge on nitric acid so it's zero now oxidation state of some gases look at the oxidation state of the gases mean diatomic gases the oxidation state of diatomic gases for example like we have hydrogen gas h2 comma uh, nitrogen gas n2 comma oxygen gas chlorine gas bromine gas fluorine gas so one two three four five six yes it's also zero why i will tell you it's also zero why because there is no difference in electronegativity look at the hydrogen combines with hydrogen is there any difference in electronegativity no zero zero no difference in electronegativity look at the nitrogen nitrogen when it's combined with one more nitrogen there will be no difference in electronegativity so oxidation state of any nitrogen in its compound is zero because there is no uh, pulling of electron electron is shared by these two nitrogen equally so zero zero okay chlorine no electronegativity difference so there will be no pulling of electron towards one chlorine that's why oxidation state is zero now oxidation state of oxygen is always minus two but in certain compound it is showing different oxidation state like like please write down this as a rule the os oxidation state of oxygen oxygen is always minus 2 in of2 except in of2 and h2o2 hydrogen peroxide but except except in of2 and hydrogen peroxide oxygen is showing different oxidation state because of the peroxy linkage here and fluorine is highly electronegative that's why oxygen is not showing 
minus 2 oxidation state. Okay, uh, one or two, uh, one or two last one or two rules, guys. Okay, look at that. One or two. Let's see the hydrogen. Hydrogen, when combined with metal, it's always showing minus one oxidation state. So we have metal hydride. We have hydrogen. Hydrogen with metals, with metals, metal hydrides, H Y D R I D E S. So hydrogen is always showing minus one, and hydrogen when it combines with non-metal, hydrogen is showing plus one oxidation state. Hydrogen, metal hydrides, hydrogen has plus one hydrogen has minus one oxidation state in metal hydride minus one oxidation state in metal in non-metal with non-metals with non-metals like HCl nit in nitric acid always hydrogen has Hydrogen has plus one oxidation state. Okay, we have seen the various rules to figure out the oxidation state of any element in the given compound. Let's do one example. Okay, I want to quickly rub this boat. all the rules you don't need to memorize it I want to give you you have seen just now you have seen all the rules let's see you don't need to memorize all the rules it will come when we do various examples I'm giving you different examples and I'm going to apply all these rules in the in the various examples let's see so Write down the question, find the oxidation state of some underlying elements. For example, I have uh, Mn in K, M, and O4, potassium permanganate, and chromium, that's the underlying. You will get these type of question in your exam. And chromium in K2 potassium dichromate, K2 Cr2O7. I will show you, I will give you an easy formula, like a mathematical formula. Look at that. So we have to figure out the oxidation state of K manganese in KMnO4. Yeah, I don't know manganese. But I told you the overall charge of this compound is zero. So the oxidation state of this compound is zero. Okay. Potassium come from group one. So group one has plus one oxidation state. Manganese, I don't know, was the oxidation state of manganese. Bx plus oxygen always show minus two. How many oxygen do I have? Four equals to 0. 1 plus x minus 8 equals to 0. x minus 7 equals to 0. x equals to 7. Okay. Let's do the chromium in potassium dichromate. So apply the same formula it's easy to figure out. So K2 Cr2O7. K2 even even you can get sodium dichromate. Same thing, sodium and potassium. K2 Cr2O7. 
okay, equals to zero and k one time two plus one time two potassium is in group one so give away one electron plus two x minus 14 i jumped my gun so plus minus two times seven equals to zero two plus two x minus 14 equals to 0, 2x e minus 12 equals to 0, x equals to a 12 over 2 equals to plus 6. But I can't use this method to work out the oxidation state of some elements. For example, I will give you. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm. I will give you this example. Let's try as a homework. For example, I have Na2S4O6 sodium tetrathionate. Just figure out this one. It means this is not the hundred percent perfect way to figure out the oxidation state of any element in the gum given compound so what's the best way to figure out the oxidation state the best way is that you have to draw the structure but that's the tedious and laborious process to draw the structure but anyway if you learn the structure you you you, you will definitely figure out the oxidation state of any element in the given compound let's do the, that way also for example, one more, one more, okay. Find the oxidation state of sulfur in sulfuric acid. Let's, let's do the, by the structural method. So we have one method through the formula and another method through the structure. Let's see the structural method. Find the oxidation state of sulfur in sulfuric acid. We, I will show you guys by two ways. One through formula and one through the structure. No. Look at that. But you have to know the structure of the sulfuric acid. Look at that one. S double bond O. Sulfuric acid H2SO4. So I have O and H. I have O and H, and we have four four oxygen. And H2SO4 double bond oxygen double bond oxygen O hydrogen O hydrogen oxygen each oxygen one bond so minus one plus one minus one plus one look at one more this oxygen and sulfur oxygen is highly electronegative minus one plus one minus one plus one here also here also you have look at that one minus one plus one each oxygen make two bond so this is plus one this is minus one with the hydrogen but with sulfur it show minus negative charge so here also minus one on oxygen and plus one on sulfur look at that one two three four five six so oxidation state of sulfur in sulfuric acid it's plus six i will quickly show through the formula how can we figure out with the help of the formula now we no. know the hydrogen is plus one plus one how many hydrogen times by two 
I don't know, sulfur X plus oxygen is always minus 2. How many oxygen? 4 equals to 0 because there is no overall charge. Now, 2 plus X minus 8 equals to 0. X minus 6 equals to 0. X equals to 6. By both the ways, you can get the oxidation state of sulfur as plus 6. But I can't use this method for some compound, like for example, this one. So I want to stop my video here, guys. And if you have any question uh, related to the oxidation reaction, or if you wish to figure out the oxidation state of any compound, please write down that question in my comment box. I will get back to you. Thanks for watching.